Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nisa and let's get right into the video. So for today's video, I'm doing a very simple pink and white friendship nail. The base is going to be all nude and then the white friendships are going to be hand drawn. And right now all I'm doing is removing the shine with a 180 grit sanding band. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and the bell. Everything I have a link to will be linked to down below in the description. And I also will have some timestamps that you can skip to just in case you don't want to watch that part of the video or you feel like you need to watch it again it will be all chunked up for you now i'm going in and applying her tips and as you can see this is my sister alexia she is back y'all and we didn't know what length we wanted for these tips but we went ahead and figured out a good one you guys are gonna see it's not too long but it's also not short so it's also good medium length i'd say and these tips are from bomb nails i believe i believe these are her 3x square tips and i haven't used them in a while but they glued down with no issue with the kds glue that i typically use I used seven magnets to get this length and after I cut them all down I'm going in and removing that little lip from the tip of the nail and then just going over the nail just one more time to make sure there is no spots of shine and after this it'll be time for the acrylic. wanted to do a very light amount of shaping because she did say she enjoyed the shape so now i'm gonna go ahead and swatch some pinks and this is just all sorts of nudes and pinks that one was french pink that one is teddy and this one no chai and teddy and she didn't like either of them they were just too brown for her that one is ami and then one of them was true nude which was the last one that i swatched that was like an actual nude was true nude by get nail 32 and then now i'm applying her second layer of primer and then i'm going to go in with a thin clear base layer then i'm going to go ahead and add her nude Like I said, I'm going in with Ami. This is from 76 Nails and it is a rather fast drying powder. This was one of my first times using it with the JC Beauty Concepts Monomer and I actually really like it. It doesn't dry nearly as fast as with like 876's Nails like own monomer or with the other monomers that I was using it with before. And I really like it. Also, do not touch the acrylic like at all. You can get an allergy from that.
now that everything is dried i'm going in for my final reshaping and i'm making sure that there is no acrylic stuck to her skin and that her nail is nice and straight and that her square is even and that the surface of her nail is even after i'm done with the hand file i will go in with a kiara sky drill bit and then i will go in with a buffer then the french tip application is the kiara sky drill bit it is a fine drill bit and it is not a safety drill bit so be extra extra careful with this bit if you do decide to get it but i really do enjoy it and i might try out the larger drill bit because i have gotten the hang of this one is a pink sponge buffer and i use the harsher grit just to make sure the nail is smooth but also to make sure it's not super super smooth because then the gel polish can peel off
after I cleanse the nails with some alcohol, I'm going in with the liner brush. It's one of the three-piece liner brushes that I told you guys about in my previous haul video. I will go ahead and link that in the cards for you all. And it will also be in the description. I'm using the palette from before also you can see that the glitters that i used in my press on video thus right before this is still stuck in it and this is the Venalisa white that i showed you guys and it worked perfectly um you just have to use it just a tad bit thicker but make sure it is not too thick or you will literally warp the sides of the nail and it'll look puffy but just be careful with that and there's no harm in making a mistake because you can just go in with some acetone and wipe the nail right on off or use that cleanup brush and wipe the nail off with some acetone and you will be all good then i went ahead and only did one coat but make sure you cure the nails for 120 seconds or 90 seconds just a little bit longer than usual because um if you're using it at its like most opaque which means you're using it a little bit thicker it's just a little bit harder for the light to get through so you can end up accidentally wrinkling the nail if you do not cure it for long enough after this i will be done and we're going to go ahead and top coat
while I went ahead and did her thumb, I had her middle finger turned over and she ended up swiping it on something. And so this is why it's important to cure what you have when you like it and then go ahead because now look, I have to redo this middle finger and if I would have cured it, it would have been perfectly fine. So remember, always cure it when you like it. Sometimes it is a little bit faster to in the moment to just go ahead and move on, but it's not really faster if a mistake like this happens because then you've had to do the, the nail multiple times because even on the middle finger the first time, I messed it up a couple of times. So after this middle finger is done, it will be time to top coat. So this was my first time using the rubber top coat on an actual like person person because the other first time was on a set of press on nails and I really really like this it really did smooth out any little like imperfections left which there really wasn't many and as you can see there's little red and white specks in the nail so on this hand I had to go over it with some alcohol and really just clean up the nails because she touched something fuzzy but this happens every single time i use white on her there's always something getting stuck in the nails so luckily it was able to come out super easily once i wiped it out with the alcohol then i cured this for a full 120 seconds just because it is thicker it is a rubber top coat and after she's worn these nails for quite a while, it lasted for a very, very, very long time. And it is very shiny. And like I said, I do think that I will like the their regular top coat just a little bit better than this. Just because it is not so heavy duty, if that makes sense. I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share with the bell. Everything I have links to be linked to down below in the description and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. And remember, cure these for a full 120 seconds and I did use Blossom cuticle oil on her and I will leave the link to it down below in the description.